They've now cranked up the outflow here at the uh, spillway to 30,000 cubic feet of water per second, and it's already forced the closure of the Madison boat ramp side. And it's having a ripple effect downstream. It could get worse if more rain does fall in the next couple of days. State parks were forced to shut down LaFleur's Bluff State Park campground and send more than a dozen campers to higher ground. The Pearl River is pushing further inland and prompting a quick get-out order. So we, what we had to do is go ahead and notify all our campers that we needed to get them out as quick as they could so they wouldn't get trapped down there. So anytime the water level get up to 26 and a half feet, we had to start evacuating the uh, campground. The large amounts of rainfall to come down above the reservoir in the upper Pearl forced reservoir operators to dramatically increase the release at the spillway floodgates. What might normally be around 4,000 cubic feet of water per second, now almost eight times that amount. So we have increased the discharge to 30,000 feet per second, which will result in a river stage at the Jackson gauge of 31 feet. That's almost two football fields of water every two seconds, and that water now rushing downstream to Jackson. Uh, that is going to have some river, some low-lying streets flooded. Right now, we're at a point where we're just at that uh, level of, uh, it's just right on the edge. The National Weather Service says there has already been so much rain since the start of the month, six to eight inches, and that has not allowed enough time to drain away yet. It just keeps coming down and... Uh, in the lower parts of the river, say down south of Jackson, you know, they've got water coming in from the strong river that's keeping the river up there. So it's just a lot of water and nowhere to go, really. A lot of water moving down the Pearl right now, expected to push the river at the Jackson gauge to 31 feet. That's a couple of feet above what is considered flood stage. Not expected to get into homes right now, but could get into streets. And again, as David alluded to, a lot of this will depend on how much rain we get in the next couple of days. Live at the Spillway, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.